OptiMax ST compatible installed onto 900 micron buffered fiber. Now you will see an OptiMax ST compatible connector being installed onto a 900 micron buffered fiber. For demonstration purposes, the multi-mode 50 micron OptiMax ST connector installation procedure will be shown. The procedure is applicable for all types of OptiMax ST compatible connectors, multi-mode 50, 62.5 micron, and single mode. Open the component bag and select the connector body, the rear housing and the 900 micron strain relief boot. If the connector's front dust cap is missing, don't install this connector because the end face could be damaged. Select the ST OptiMax installation tool and clamp from your kit. Attach the clamp to your work table or on the equipment rack. Open the installation tool by rotating the tool body until you hear a click. The installation tool should then be secured on the clamp. With its release wire on top, load the connector body into the installation tool. Lock the connector in place by simultaneously pushing and turning the housing a quarter of a turn in a clockwise direction. Leave both dust caps on. Now, fasten the strain relief boot onto the rear portion of the connector housing. You will notice a tight fit. Next, slide the rear housing and boot assembly down the fiber, narrow end first, until it is out of your way. To prepare the 900 micron fiber, strip approximately 40 millimeters of buffer from the end of the fiber. Strip the buffer in small 5 millimeter portions to avoid breaking the fiber. If you are unfamiliar with stripping optical fiber, practice on a spare piece of fiber. After you have finished, measure and mark the buffer 9 millimeters from the end. Clean the bare fiber two or three times with a folded alcohol wipe or use your locally approved cleaning method. Do not touch the clean portion of the fiber. Make sure the cleaver is clean and that the fiber buffer is resting against the stopper. Cleave the bare fiber, seven millimeters measured from the end of the buffer. A very light touch is all you need to score the fiber. Using your tweezers, collect all the fiber waste in your waste bottle. If you are not familiar with cleaving, please refer to the instruction sheet supplied with the OptiMax cleaver. You could also use your own locally approved cleaver with a setting of 7 millimeters for this operation. Compare the stripped and cleave fiber with the diagram on the OptiMax fiber preparation guide. Turn the microscope over. Open the cover and place the cleaved fiber on stage. Make sure that the 900 micron buffer is snapped in the groove and the buffer end is resting against the stopper. Close the cover, turn the microscope back over and check the quality of your cleave. Pointing the microscope at a white surface will provide a brighter image. Cleaves having chips or cut at an excessive angle are unacceptable a good cleave will appear to be clean and straight. Refer to your ST OptiMax installation guide for comparisons. If the cleave does not pass the visual inspection, repeat the stripping operation. Be sure to clean the bare fiber again before the cleaving procedure is repeated. Once a good cleave has been achieved, continue with the installation process. Remove the rear dust cap from the connector body. Carefully insert the bare fiber into the connector stem until you feel the fibers make contact. The fiber is fully inserted when the pen mark on the buffer is just outside the stem of the connector. Do not disturb the fiber after it has been inserted. Secure the fiber in the clamp, allowing a slight bow in the fiber. This will maintain a contact between the end faces of the fibers. Press the plunger on the installation tool and hook the release wire on the connector. Now, 
slowly release the plunger. Unclamp the fiber. Remove the connector from the installation tool. Hold the crimping tool in a horizontal position. Partially close the crimping tool until you hear three clicks. Insert the connector stem inside the first and smallest die, making sure the connector body is rested against the die. Now strongly crimp the connector. Align and press the rear housing assembly into the front housing until you hear a click. You have now completed the 900 micron buffered fiber installation. The connector must be cleaned before it is installed in the fiber panel. Proper cleaning methods have been shown previously after the safety precautions. Always refer to your Optimax ST compatible installation instruction manual when installing your connectors.